Ross Feingold on the Taiwan Hashtag Program, coming to you from Taipei, Taiwan, and hosted by the Storm Media Group. Today we'll return again to presidential politics, keeping in mind the presidential and legislative UN parliament elections coming up on January 11th, 2020. Last week we talked about Han Goyu, the candidate of the Kuomintang, also the mayor of Kaohsiung, that he was having a bit of a difficult week. His poll numbers had been falling. A lot of criticism of some of his policy proposals. And he'd been struggling to get out of that rut. So how are things going for Han Goyu recently? Well, one of the biggest developments was last weekend here in Taiwan. He had a very large rally in the new Taipei City area, which is uh, joining the Taipei uh, City capital, where I'm sitting today. And uh, you know, it was a big event for, for Han. Well, a lot of Kuomintang politicians were on the stage. They were hoping for a big turnout. How did it go? Well, the first problem for Han was that the mayor of New Taipei, who is from the Kuomintang and who Han campaigned with in the local elections last year, a gentleman named Ho Yo decided not to attend. So that led to a lot of media speculation is why, why is an important Kuomintang politician, an elected mayor of a large municipality, not attending an event for Han, a Han rally in his city. And they've been going back and forth in the media and, and, and the mayor, Mayor Ho said, well, my, my agenda, my, my itinerary for that day was already full up. I didn't have time to go to Han's rally. Eventually he'll probably join the team as long as Han Goyu is still the candidate. I would expect Mayor Ho to eventually be a supporter and be out campaigning for Mayor Han, keeping in mind that Mayor Han did help campaign for Ho Yo Yi last year in the November 2018 local elections. But that got a lot of media attention. Next item with this rally that got a lot of media attention was former President Ma Ying Zhou. Ma Ying Zhou was a speaker at the rally and some of the, the supporters in the audience watching President Ma's speech, they started to call out for him to slow down, stop, get off the stage. They really came to see Hong Go Yu. They didn't come to see Ma Ying Zhou. So this has led to a lot of back and forth between uh, President Ma's uh, uh, former aides, people close to President Ma, and Hangul Yu's campaign staff, and they've been trying to fix that relationship uh, over the last few days as there have been a lot of speculation about why, why didn't one side or the other do more to make sure that Ma's appearance went a little more smoother, keeping in mind he is a former president, so he should be afforded a certain level of respect and dignity. And he is trying to be a team player by campaigning for the candidate nominated by his party, the Kuomintang. But it led to a lot of negative media attention. And of course, the opponents of Mirahan, whether it's just voters, people in the public who take to social media, media that doesn't like Hong Kong Yu, and DPP politicians, they love this, right? They could love to say, well, why isn't Ho Yo Yi, uh, a mayor of New Taipei City, attending a rally for Mirahan in New Taipei City? Why are Hong Kong Yu supporters, Kuomintang voters, shouting down President Ma? Why can't they all get on the same page? They're all part of the same team, after all. So Han Go Yu, uh, some of his campaign activities, handing an opportunity to the DPP. We'll look at poll numbers in a second, but Mayor Han's poll numbers also falling. So there are some polls in recent days that show his, his gap with President Tsai Ing-wen if it's a one-on-one -on -one election is widening. But the biggest speculation, the biggest focus of discussion here in Taiwan with regard to presidential politics over the last few days is still whether or not there's going to be a significant third candidate. And it comes down to two gentlemen who've been talking about how to cooperate. Mayor Ko wen of Taipei City, who was reelected last November in the local elections by a small margin, uh, but he was reelected and that immediately set off speculation that he would run for president in the January 2020 election. And Foxconn Honhai founder, Terry Go Guo Tai Ming, a lot of speculation that he would run as an independent candidate after he lost the Kuomintang nomination. The Kuomintang is desperately trying to persuade Go Timing, don't do this. Stay on board with the Kuomintang. After all, we gave you a nice certificate uh, declaring you an honorary uh, exalted special party member, and then you joined our primary. Even though you lost, we still love you. We want you to stay on board and support Han Go Yu. Uh, then there was a lot of speculation that the KMT might dump Han Go Yu. We talked about that in a previous program. This was called Huan Yu, dump you, switch you. And, and, and then Terry Go said, hey guys, even if you do that, Kuomintang, if you get rid of Han Go Yu as your candidate, I'm not coming back. I'm not going to be the Kuomintang candidate no matter what. So has the Kuomintang persuaded Terry Go not to run? Apparently not. 
Guo Taiming, Cherry Go, and Mirka Koenja, along with the former Speaker of the Legislative Yuan, Wang Jingping, who was a Guomindang politician who did initially run in the Guomindang primary, but then dropped out saying he didn't like the process. The three of them, on again, off again, speculation about whether or not they're going to cooperate in running for the uh, presidency. Why is it now a period of heavy speculation? Well, it's not just because we're getting so close to the election on January 11, 2020, but there is a filing deadline coming up. So if you're not running for a party and you're going to collect sig signatures on petitions, the filing deadline with the Central Election Commission here in Taiwan, January 17th, coming up next week, someone's got to make a decision. Terry, go, Terry, go, make up your mind. Why haven't you made a decision yet? Why can't you persuade Merica to support you? Merica, why can't you persuade... Terry, go to support you. You guys got to make up your mind because now you only have less than a week to file. Holiday coming up here in Taiwan on Friday. Uh, this weekend is a very important festival here in Taiwan and other Chinese uh, societies, mid-autumn festival. So a lot of speculation that this will be the time when one of them finally makes a decision. Most observers here in Taiwan think it's going to be Guo Taiming. Terry Go is going to be the one who runs for president with the support of Koenja, America of Taipei. Just this week, the latest iPhone 11 has been released. Maybe now that that, that milestone is out of the way. Even though Guo Taiming is resigned as chairman of Foxconn Honai, of course, they're a big manufacturer for Apple. At least he doesn't have that issue on his mind anymore. He's done with some international travel after he lost the Guomindang nomination. He went to Japan. More recently, he went to the Middle East. He went to Saudi Arabia. He talked about energy and renewable energy, which, again, is an important uh, product area or future product area for Foxconn Honhai Group. Anyway, business issues, travel, it's over. Will he make a decision? Let's look at the polls. First, Tsai and Han, if it's one on one, one of the polls released this week here in Taiwan showed a big lead for Tsai Ing wen, a growing lead. 44% for Tsai Ing wen of the DPP versus 33% for Han Go Yu of the Guomindang. Again, this is on the back of some of those uh, uh, issues where Han Go Yu just didn't really sell it well to the public. There was criticism of some of his policy announcements. We have these issues with how his rallies have been conducted. Again, the mayor of New Taipei City not showing up. DPP using this to their advantage to say, oh, look at the Guomindang. They're not united. Guomindang, it's up to you guys to fix that and really energize supporters across Taiwan or around Hong Guoyu. You're not doing it yet, and that's why we see President Tsai, whose DPP did so poorly in the local elections less than a year ago, November 2018, her lead starting to widen. Not as great a lead as she would like. So we see 44 versus 33. That means there's still a lot of undecided voters. But even if some of them uh, break for Han, it's unlikely they're all going to break for Han. So President Tsai, who won about 56% in the previous presidential election, probably doesn't really like this number. But it's more than the other guy. It's more than the other candidate. She'll take it. She'll definitely take a re-election if she can win it, no matter how small the, the difference is or how much she falls from 20 uh, 2016. Keeping in mind, in addition to the more well-known third-party candidates, there might be some other minor third-party candidates that take support from either candidate. Uh, so not as pretty as 2016, but Tsai Ing-wen, she'll take it. Guo Taiming, Terry Go, and Mirko Wenjia of New Taipei, I'm uh, sorry, of Taipei City. Well, you know what? There's not much of a difference. In a three-way race between Guo Taiming, an independent candidate, Ko Wen, uh, uh, Han Guo Yu of the Guomindang, Tsai Ing-wen of the DPP. They're all looking pretty close. President Tsai does have a lead, low 30s. The other candidates are in the high 20s. Um, so if you're Guo Taiming, you're looking at this and saying, I got a chance. Absolutely. I mean, if I was an advisor to Guo Taiming, I'd say, Mr. Go, you definitely have a chance. You're only a few percentage points uh, behind President Tsai. You'll probably take some votes away from Han Guo Yu. You might even take some votes away from Tsai Ing-wen. So sure, why not go for it? You got a lot of money. It's not going to cost you much money out of your fortune to uh, spend some money on joining the election. So very, very close. However, ironically, if Ko wen joins the race, the polls are showing that his numbers are just about the same, right? It doesn't really change. What does this tell us? Well, Tsai ing -wen's support is still a little soft, keeping in mind how, how large her election victory was. Hangul Yu's support 
it may have hit his ceiling. Again, he's facing issues. He hasn't really uh, performed at the same level that he did around this time a year ago when his campaign kind of took, took off, really came out of nowhere, and, and he just won with this massive surge over the final few months of the local election campaign for Gauss Young Mayor. So whether it's Guo Tai Ming, Terry Go, or Ko Enjo, the mayor of Taipei City, they're both polling around 27% and doesn't really change much the math for Tsai Ing-wen or Han Guo Yu. So, Terry Go, Ko wen Zhe. Be very interesting to hear what the two of them are talking about today as they try and make a decision because it's not like one of them has a bigger lead in the polls versus the other. Now, maybe Ko wen Zhe is saying, you know, why should I bother? I can continue as mayor of Taipei City. I was just reelected a little over, a little less than a year ago. I got three more years in my term, I could run for a president in the future, so I don't need to bother. And I could support Guo Tai Ming. And actually, uh, as we talked about in our previous show, Ko wen recently formed a political party. His political party will be fielding candidates in the legislative UN, the parliamentary election. If he wins a few seats in the legislative UN, and he's going to continue to be mayor of Taipei City, it's going to give him a political base going forward, going out until the next presidential election in 2020. Or there's always the possibility that Guo Taiming would, would run and ask Ko wen Zhe to be his vice presidential candidate. A lot of speculation about that. Or if Guo Taiming wins the presidential election, maybe he would ask Ko wen Zhe to be the premier, uh, what they call the president of the executive UN, but it's basically the premier or the prime minister here in Taiwan. So poll numbers are showing it's very close. Tsai Ing-wen does not have a big lead in a three-way race. Doesn't show much difference between Terry Go or Ko wen Zhe joining as an independent candidate. Han Go Yu's support may have hit a ceiling. Can he have a breakthrough? Uh, we'll be watching this in the coming days, and hopefully by next week we'll know for sure who the third candidate is. I'm Ross Feingold. You've been watching Taiwan Hashtag on the Storm Media Group. <laughs>